Okay, so we're going to practice painting the eyeballs. These will be the eyeballs. They're like, they're called cabochons. They're glass. They're flat on one side and rounded on the other side. But before we paint on the actual cabochons, we're gonna practice because you paint differently than you would expect. And so we're gonna paint on this plastic, okay? So what we are going to do when we paint the cabochons, we're gonna paint on the flat side. Okay. And so you'll see it through oh, the, the pop out. right. And so that means that you need to paint whatever goes in the front first, which is the black part. Oh. I'm gonna do like a cat's eye oh. style one. So then we just, we have to wait for that to dry. First thing I'm gonna do, I want, I want gold sparkles. Kind of. So I'm going to just like do some tiny dots. Just do some tiny dots all around it. Okay, now we let that dry. I want some little blue streaks. And then. Um, I want little flashes of yellow, but I want more yellow than everything else, I think. Or, except for red. The whole thing's going to mainly be red, but I'm going to have, like, starbursts. So it's yellow coming out. I can paint right over the black because... Oh, yeah, because it's not... Because the black's already there, so I'm just painting over top of everything. Putting little starbursts of yellow. And you know what? Maybe I want it to kind of go to gold around the outside. So I'm going to paint like a circle around the edge of gold. Like that. And I'm not going to let it dry because I want to blend it a little bit with the red. So now I take the red and I'll just paint over all of this. And now as I get to the edge, I'll let it... It's like making pancakes. Yep, I'm letting it blend a little bit. Okay, so that's one eye. That looks cool. Yeah, I'm just put some clean paper under it so I could see. Yeah. See, that's, awesome. such, that's pretty cool looking, right? Okay, so you can go ahead and practice some. Oh my gosh, okay. Can I do multiple? Because yeah, I do as many no as you idea. want. So, yeah, you can try slits. You can try, like, if yeah, you want, you can do multiple pupils and let them dry. You know? Oh yeah, I could do that. Cool. Which one do you like? This one. Okay. So let's do it for real. balls for my dragon. I'm using these 
uh, cabochons. They are a little bit bigger than the ones Xander used. Here are Xander's eyes. His are, I think, half inch and mine are one inch. So the first thing we paint is the pupils. Now mine is gonna be inspired by crocodile eyeballs, which have like slits. Now I'm gonna start with the colors that come from the center and move out. So I always have to be thinking what it's going to look like from the front. So the things that I want to show up on the front have to be the first things that I put down. Okay, now I'm going to have it sunburst out so there will be yellow coming right out of the pupil. So next I'm going to try something new. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a try. I have here um, some rubbing alcohol. And I'm going to use teeny tiny drops of rubbing alcohol. Now, if you notice where this green paint is right here on the edge, there's kind of a hard line where it just stops. Uh, I want it to um, feel softer, so I'm going to use this knife and scrape the edge like this, put little cuts into it. So I'm not even using the blade, I'm just using the tip of this and just kind of scratching. All right, nice. Now the eyes are gonna be mainly red and uh, one of the things, if you ever look at an eyeball, there's the iris, and then there's the white part called the sclera. And um, I am not going to be adding a sclera to these. They're all, they'll be 100% iris because they're for the dragon. Uh, but I want them to be really 100% iris, meaning this is the end of the iris. So uh, right where the iris meets the sclera, there is a usually a dark outline. If you look at people's eyes, you'll see it gets darker right around the edges. So since I'm doing this with uh, a red, I'm gonna use kind of a darker red. I'm gonna use, uh, what is this, burgundy, I think. I think, actually. I'm even gonna add a touch of green to it. So, um, Whoa, you might wonder why green? Well, I'll tell you, there is, um, you know, red and green are complementary colors on the color wheel. And something that you might not know is that when you mix complementary colors together, you get gray when we're talking about pigments. So if I add some green to this, it's going to kind of gray down my red, make it a little grayer. And that's what I want. So I'm not making it darker by adding black. I'm making it darker by adding it, adding green. Takes away some of the bright redness of it. You can see it right there. So now 
I'm going to paint a line of this right around the very edge. Okay, now a similar thing as I did with the green, I want the edge to be soft on these. So I'm going to do the same thing with the blade again. I'm gonna just scratch the very edges of it. Now I could make these very complex by doing uh, a, like a lighter red with some alcohol to add one layer of red and then the darker red, but I think I'm going to go straight to the solid color. Okay, they're dry. Let's take a look and see how the finished product is looks. Oh, that's really neat. You can see the gold glittering in them when the light catches it. There you can see kind of the pattern that the iris muscles make in there. Here are Xander's. Now that we've got all the eyes made, we just need to prepare a place on our sculpture for the eyes to fit. So we'll just use the eyes to figure out the size and then we carve them away. <laughs> 